Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Gianna Leanne and today I'm back with a little mini cozy little reading vlog. I kind of want to give this some fall vibes going on because Halloween is this week coming up. I just want to read some of my thriller spooky books if that makes sense, but keep it cozy obviously. So that's a little reading vlog that I kind of have planned, but throw in a little bit of mood reading as well, you know. But my current read right now is currently The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I have little less than halfway left. It's really good because I did read a Riley Sager book, Survive the Night, a little while ago and I was very iffy on that. I loved his writing but I think the whole plot I just wasn't into it but this one is definitely a lot better than the other one that I read but I am actually annotating this for my best friend Lily. We are doing that little book exchange again where we pick a book for each other, we annotate them and then we mail them and then we see what book we chose for each other and stuff. It's just a fun little thing that we did last year and and around this time too, actually, I made a reading vlog on it. I'm really, really enjoying this. We have lots of spooky things going on in this book. I mean, with Riley Sager, you never freaking know what you're gonna get. He is just a, such an amazing writer. I cannot guess the end of this. I have so many theories in my head and so far, I don't think I'm right. So <laughs> we're gonna have to see what ends up happening. I'm more than halfway through, shouldn't take me that long to finish, and then we're gonna pick up our next read after that. I'm very excited for the books that I'm kinda thinking of picking up in this video, so hopefully they don't let me down. We're just gonna get into it. But make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already. Helps out the channel and I'd appreciate it so, 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 so much. And let me know if you guys have been reading fall books recently. What have we been reading? Are we reading cozy books? Are we reading spooky books? Let me know down below. So abrupt, the way I am reminded of us I found our stuff, old Polaroids of times behind us I can't get you out of my head This book is getting insane, it's getting insane Yes, Riley Sager Riley Sager is messing with my brain. I can't guess it. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. Am I reading, buddy? <laughs> Went on a day. Thought I'd get my mind off of you. We stayed up late. Hello, you guys. I don't even know when the last time I updated this. How <coughs> much just died? It's a few days later. That's my point. I got a coffee. It's almost done. <laughs> but I wanted to update you guys for The Only One Left by Riley Sager because I am so close to finishing this. I was going to finish it the other night, but I just was so tired and I wanted to like have a fresh brain to finish it if that makes sense. But things have gotten crazy in this. Also, side note, I'm feeling kind of under the weather. I hope I'm not getting sick, but my throat hurts so bad. So it's just gonna be a cozy little reading session I'm feeling because I just wanna curl up with a book in my bed and try to finish this, to be honest, because it's getting crazy. Like when I tell you Riley Sager's writing is the craziest writing I've ever read in my life, I'm not kidding. This is the second book I've read by him and I just can't guess it. This time I thought I had him. I had so many theories of like every possible way that I could rack my brain and he still got me. We did just get to, I'm pretty sure like the biggest twist in the book, but I mean with him, you never know. There could be like a whole nother twist. I don't want to give you guys sort of like a big synopsis on what this book's about because I feel like once you read the back, you just have to kind of go into it blind. So I don't want to say anything, but basically it follows the Hope family and they live in this very rich side of the town on a cliff, a house on the cliff. And a long time ago, a massacre happened. Everyone in the family died except for one of the family members. And she was kind of like accused of basically murdering her whole family, but it could never be proven because they didn't have any evidence. So now the rest of the town is scared of this family basically and thinks that the one girl that survived is the one who did it. But she has a lot of health issues and stuff like that. So our main character, Kit McDear, she comes in as like the caregiver and stuff and she wants to figure out what happened at the Hope House when the massacre happened and who really did it? Like did this girl that survived really did it? Cause now she's caring for her and everyone's scared of her as well. So that's kind of like the gist. I hope that made sense. I'm trying not to give like anything away because 
because I genuinely think, like me, I went into this blind and I think everyone else should as well, along with all Riley Sager books I've found. That's kind of what's going on, but I'm officially on page 336 and there's only like 380 something pages. So we're gonna hopefully finish this. Hopefully I'm gonna catch my reaction on tape because I have a feeling that the end of this book is gonna get really nasty and really crazy. We're just gonna have to see. I have been annotating it like I've mentioned a few times, so. We're just gonna have to see and do some cozy reading because it's a rainy chilly day cozy vibes is what i'm going for my bed has never looked so comfortable <laughs> last page before the big chapter oh my gosh <gasps> i knew it i had a feeling the whole time okay let her explain herself now four pages left for her to explain herself Why does he get me every time? Every time he gets me. I thought I knew the one twist and five other twists just appeared. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm gonna need some time to process this. This is literally insane. I could be wrong, but the rating's at 4.5. 4.5. Unless I change my mind, I'm gonna sleep on it and think about it, but you guys need to read a Riley Sager book. Just try it. Your mind will be like played with extremely i thought i had him this time i literally genuinely thought i had him but i was so wrong now i need to think of the next book to pick up i have no words i'm just speechless right now i have no words <laughs> oh my candle almost just fell and shattered everywhere that would have been tragic hello you guys it is the next night i have been not feeling good i've been trying to be as productive as i can but this sickness that i have right now or what's been going around lately everyone's literally getting sick so i'm just like not feeling the best not 100 percent myself i haven't really filmed at all today but it is currently like almost 8 p.m and i obviously let all my thoughts sink in from the only one left by riley sager and i'm still gonna stick with a 4.5 out of 5 stars i absolutely love that book i have not been able to stop thinking about it since i finished it i think that kind of concludes my rating and that it doesn't deserve a five but i'm still gonna stick with a 4.5 that means we are picking out our next book and as you guys saw i am gonna start good girl bad blood by holly jackson which is the second book in the a good girl's guide to murder series i read the first one around this time last year actually or like a little bit before halloween we are gonna start this one i'm super excited to see what ends up happening what ends up up carrying over from the first one it is like a ya mystery the first one was set in high school i'm pretty sure that this one isn't going to be the same thing because last time pip was graduating we're gonna have to see what unravels in this book i loved the first one and how it was like that not easy but that like fast-paced mystery that you could just fly through and it doesn't take a lot of <laughs> brain power to process it and how it was with the riley sager book i was like trying to come up with every single possible theory that could have happened in that book with this one i feel like it's gonna be a lot more laid back and i'm super excited to get into that especially with how i'm feeling right now it's gonna be cozy i'm probably gonna title this cozy reading vlog because i've been saying that every single clip because it honestly is i'm just mood reading for the seasons and keeping it cozy because that's the vibes i've been kind of going with lately my whole life i've been trying to just chill out and romanticize that cozy lifestyle because i feel like i don't let myself do that a lot that's the plans i don't know how far i'm gonna get into this 
because I'm not feeling the best and I do need some rest to rejuvenate and help my body rest and heal. We're gonna start this and I'll keep you guys updated, of course. I'm excited. <laughs> We have our reading buddy, of course. She actually just got a haircut. Yeah, you just got a haircut. You look all clean. Doesn't she look like a different dog? Everyone says that when she gets a haircut. Let me know down below if you think she looks like a completely different dog and you've seen my other vlogs of when she's like super, super hairy. Anyway, little update. Just wanted to say something. First impressions. I'm only on page 30 and this is our first little like update. Things have already started. That's another thing I love about these books is that it's so fast paced that even though we're only 30 pages in, the main thing of the story is already starting and that is absolutely perfect. I wanted to update this because I read the first one a while back and I don't remember everything like the characters and exactly how the first one ended for some reason. The first 30 pages kind of recapped that whole thing and kind of like gave a backstory on some extra details from the first book which I felt like I didn't get so that filled me in on that questions from the first one which is perfect because I honestly didn't really remember too much so that's perfect right? She's just been in my vlog this whole time. 30 pages in so far it's getting good i'm not gonna give two specific updates for this book because it is the second one in the series you guys definitely have to read the first one it is so good i highly highly recommend good morning it's a few days later pretty early in the morning but i have an update i have been binging this book you guys when i tell you i've been binging it i have literally forgotten to pick up my camera and give you guys like a little more updates since the last time i updated you guys because i've been flying through this like honestly i just made it to page 197 chapter 20 which basically like 200 pages in and that's kind of the halfway point i hit the halfway point and i was like oh my gosh i have not updated my reading vlog. I realized why I loved the first one again. I did read that one a while ago, so I kind of like forgot a lot of stuff because I've read a lot of books since then. But now that I'm reading this now, I remember all those feelings coming back from the first one of me like just being so hooked to it and drawn to it. And it flows so easily that I just fly through it and I go through it so fast. So that's like my favorite part about these books is it just like has me on this type of hold that I just want to continue reading and continue reading and continue reading. And I'm already trying to guess like everything sort of like the Riley Sager book obviously it's a little bit more laid back than that but <laughs> still I'm still trying to come up with the theories in my head it kind of makes it more fun for me it kind of makes me feel like Pip in her own shoes and like me trying to figure out the mysteries and stuff as well obviously Pip has picked up yet again another investigation a missing persons report from someone very close to her the stakes are so much higher because it's someone that she loves and someone that she's known her whole life. That just makes it so much more personal and connects me to Pip so much more, which I really, really like. And then again, I loved Pip in the first book. I'm so happy to be reading about her again and seeing her hopefully crack another mystery, let's hope. But one thing I did wanna say is I'm loving the graphics in this. The first one didn't have necessarily graphics, like actual photos and stuff, and this one does. Like, look at how cool that is. So there's things like that within the book, and then obviously like the podcast stuff, and just a bunch of cool like extra little features and stuff throughout the book which makes me so much more hooked to it and kind of gives me more of that visual aspect and maps there's lots of maps in it too really 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 enjoying this and i think it's perfect for the season that we're in right now because it's so cold outside and i just want to cozy up with like a good mystery that's kind of the vibe slash like mood i've been in recently i think it's perfect so fitting for the weather that we've been having lately i have my cozy blanket because it is so cold in my house but yeah we're gonna continue reading reading this and hopefully I can almost finish it today. That's kind of like my plan, what I've planned for. <laughs> I 
am loving this. I feel like a full on like investigator right now. I am fully in this story. I feel like I'm literally a character myself. This is so bingeable. I'm hooked. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I stayed up and binged this book last night. I officially have like 20 pages left, like literally nothing left. And I needed to catch my reaction to the very last word on this book because I was laying in bed last night just speechless. I was like, no, this is not happening right now. I was just so shocked. I didn't see anything coming. Let's just say that. But Pip and Ravi definitely are the power duo. I loved them in the first book and in the second book, they just, their relationship kind of like stuck out to me a little bit more in the second one, which I really, really liked because I felt like the first one that was lacking a little bit. And I know they were just getting together in the first book, but now that they're like full on in the relationship and stuff, I'm really loving the chemistry that they have. I mean, there are a few characters that we've gone through throughout the book that I'm like, nah, you kind of annoy me or you're kind of insignificant. They're just kind of like filler characters in my opinion, which I haven't been enjoying like reading about them, but they definitely are important to the story overall and they definitely still need to be there for the story to full on make sense <laughs> and kind of flow better. That's just a, kind of like a little ick of mine, but we're gonna finish this and then we are gonna pick up our next book. I have no idea what book I'm gonna pick up next. I have a few options that I've been eyeing, but I definitely want to get this all finished up. And then I definitely really, really want to pick up the last one in the series sometime. I've been enjoying this so much more than I thought I was going to. So that needs to happen soon. And this plot has been so much more suspenseful than the first one was. I feel like with mysteries, it's really hard to give you pinpoint updates on exactly what's happening in the book because they're mysteries. And this far along in the book, I don't want to like tell you guys anything, but let's just say that it is very suspenseful. It is very fast paced and you will fall in love with the author's writing, in my opinion. So we're going to finish this. I'm so eager. <laughs> oh my god. Literally the last few pages. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a wrap. What a crazy slash wholesome ending. Aww. This was a really good book. I really, really enjoyed this, guys. I'm definitely gonna need my thoughts to sink in before I give like an immediate rating though, for sure. So thoughts are gonna sink. You guys, the last time that I updated this was when I finished my last book. We are picking our new book because I need something else to read. And because this is kind of just like a cozy reading vlog slash like mood reading kind of, I want to say, this is my TBR for the month of November. So that's like all the books that I really want to get done before the end of the month. I mean, we have some pretty big books in here. I know I'm not going to get through all of them. I mean, I wish, but we also have like two other sections. My TBR card is normally the books that I really, really want to get to out of all the ones on my shelf. I think we're going to decide from these two shelves, but I don't know. I'm very indecisive when it comes to picking books because I really, really, really want to read Bad Reputation, like really, really, really bad. But I don't know if I'm in the mood for a big book like this right now. And it's too early to get into Christmas books because I'm saving The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. I really want to read this, but I'm saving this for December. I just have to wait a little bit longer before I can get into that. I feel like I really just want to read The Nanny by Lana Ferguson because I've been hyping it up on my channel so much. And if I don't read it this month, you guys are going to be like, you wanted to read that book so much. Why didn't you read it? I think this is the next book we're going to pick up. I've been in love with this plot ever since I found out that my bookstore had it when I bought this. It's like a single dad trope and the single dad's like super hot and then there's this struggling woman. She just loses her job. She needs to find a way to make some money and she sees this nanny position for the single dad. So she takes the position but she also has an OnlyFans on the side that she stopped doing for a while. Crazy plot, right? So so I'm definitely in the mood to read something like this. Hopefully it's super steamy. I've been hearing how steamy this book is, so that's what I'm kind of hoping for. We got our book and we got our bookmark, which, yes, completely so true. And we're just gonna get started reading. Ooh, I'm so excited right now. If you guys do not have a reading corner, what are you guys doing? This is literally my favorite spot to read ever. This bean bag is so freaking comfortable. Highly recommend creating your own little reading corner because it's personally my favorite thing ever. It makes reading so much more magical. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, you guys, we moved to my bed. I'm literally so exhausted and I just want to read in my bed. I don't know. I've just been in such like a not lazy reading mood, but like kind of just a reading mood that I just want to lay in my bed, enjoy the sun while I can from my room and just binge read books. Basically, that's the mood I've been in. But anyways, I do have an update. Even though I'm only 46 pages in chapter four, I'm loving it. So I don't know if I'm loving it because I've been hyping this book up so much and I'm like, oh my gosh, I know I'm gonna love this. So blah, 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 blah. Or if I'm genuinely really, really enjoying it, I think it's the second option. But I just wanna say the writing in this is so hilarious. I've never read a book by Lana Ferguson. I've never even heard of her as an author. I'm always iffy going into that if I haven't heard anything about an author that I'm gonna try to read from. But oh my goodness, I don't know what it is. Her writing just hooks me the book jumped straight into the plot right away so it didn't like have a lot of build-up and like slowness to it which perfect literally perfection it's also dual pov which i didn't know that and it makes me so happy because i love when books are dual pov it kind of gives me both sides of the story a little bit more rather than just having one character pov which is so good but we kind of got a glimpse of cassie's living situation already and obviously because she just lost her job it's like not the best but her best friend named wanda she's like a 75 year old old woman and she's like her best friend which i think is absolutely so wholesome and cute i love old people they're just so cute to me and cassie which is the nanny by the way she has her as a best friend so i think it's just so cute which is making me love this book even more and then we also have aiden's pov which is like the hot single dad and we're just about to get his pov for the first time so i'm super excited to see what he has to say she was just interviewed for the job so we're gonna have to see what happens then if she does get the job we'll see where it goes from there but oh my gosh i'm loving this even more than i thought and i knew i was gonna love it from the jump so we're gonna have to see what happens because we're only like 50 pages in i'm so excited Oh my gosh. Just page 66. Cassie's on the phone with Wanda, the 70 year old best friend of hers. And <laughs> Wanda is convinced that Cassie's gonna get kidnapped by this nannying job. She thinks that the single dad is plotting this whole thing to kidnap Cassie and keep her in her basement. So Wanda's just like this hilarious old little lady. She's just convinced that there's so much more going on than there really is. It's just like a normal nannying job. She's asking Cassie about how like the kid is because it's like her first week in the position. Cassie says she's great. I tell Wanda quietly. I mean she is sort of a terror but I kind of like it. Sounds like someone else I know Wanda snorts. I'm glad she's real you know. I half worried this Aiden fellow might have been one of your booby cam stalkers because Wanda knew about her old OnlyFans and stuff. She just makes me laugh so much like every single interaction with Wanda I'm just absolutely loving. The whole book I'm just absolutely loving. Oh my goodness. I'm having such a great time reading this. It's so like lighthearted, but like at the same time hilarious and if I can get a good laugh out of a book like this then it's just perfection in my books <laughs> I have some reading updates for you guys. Oh my goodness. I have been flying through this freaking book. What the heck? I literally think the last time I updated you guys on this, I literally was on like page 60 or something. I have 70 pages left of this book. I'm just so obsessed with it. The way this book makes me feel like I haven't felt something like this since I read I'm Glad My Mom Died, which is my all time favorite book that I've ever read. Or another book I can compare this to feeling wise is the first book in the Addicted series. That's how I feel about this book. Also do not mind this mountain on my chin. I do not appreciate it. I don't know why I decided to show up. I'm feeling kind of exhausted and just kind of blah. So I want to do some cozy reading tonight because it's currently 10.20. It is past my bedtime and I still have a lot of work to get done, but I'm procrastinating it and I want to read instead. Wanted to give a quick update on The Nanny. All you need to know is that it's super steamy. There's so much tension between The Nanny and the hot single dad, so Cassie and Aiden. Let's just say they definitely know each other from a time before and the way that they know each other is is insane. I was like, 
okay i was not expecting that but i mean it fits the plot so well not too mad about it to be honest <laughs> but because i have been reading a lot of the nanny for the past day and a half i am currently reading a book on kindle unlimited hello are you coming back to join are you gonna cuddle me yes <laughs> That book I did start was The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I've been reading this book for a while now. It's the first one in the Dreamland Billionaire series. Workplace Romance, Grumpy X Sunshine, which are two tropes that I've never really read about, especially the Workplace Romance one. I've never really read a book like that, and I didn't think it was my style, but I'm enjoying it, you guys. I would be lying to you if I wasn't. I'm surprising myself as I keep reading, to be honest. I'm at page 214 out of 442. It says I'm 48% complete so basically halfway done and i'm really enjoying it it's dual pov from zara and rowan and basically rowan is zara's boss and he runs the whole place called dreamland and it's basically like an amusement park basically it's family ran and he's just like this really 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 grumpy boss he doesn't take sh from no one he just kind of treats his employees like crap to be honest but he has a special soft spot for zara and we're slowly seeing that but there's more to rowan than he lets on and you'll figure that out as you read the book because let's just say rowan has two sides to him literally <laughs> you'll have to read it to find out but like i said i'm really enjoying it we are 50 percent through i would say it decently fast paced i mean i'm enjoying it for what it is and it doesn't feel like oh this is taking so long or oh this is going nowhere you know so i'm enjoying the pace of it even though it's not action-packed and action-packed and action-packed but i think i'm gonna continue reading this for tonight and we're just gonna see how i like this i'm curious to see how it ends and to see how the series would be moving forward because i'm pretty sure the second book is rowan's brother i could be completely wrong correct me if i am wrong and that would be interesting too because we're kind of getting glimpses of his brothers in the first one but like very on the surface and i would love to dive into the whole family you know let's start reading this right are you excited are you gonna read with me A really big bomb in the story just got dropped. Like, really, really big. This could, like, mess up everything. And of course it happens right at the 50% mark. This is getting crazy. It's getting so crazy I don't even know what to think. <laughs> You're crazy. You're so crazy. Still I find a sign reminding me of you. Oh my gosh, you guys. I technically finished this book. I'm on the epilogue of it. And I wanted to record my final reaction to like the final four pages of this book because I can't believe it's over. Like my heart feels so full right now with the ending, everything that happened, literally the plot twist in it, I was not expecting. Even though it's a romance and I know there's not like, oh my gosh, craziness has happened. But like after falling in love with the characters and the plot and stuff, the main big conflict that happened, I just was not expecting expecting it to hit me that hard and me to feel wow like I am so much more invested in these characters than I thought that I ever could have been so I don't know <laughs> I'm just really really happy and I hope that the epilogue kind of gives me a little bit more insight because the epilogue is an Aiden's point of view which I loved Aiden's POV like throughout the whole book it was like my favorite chapters to read even though I love Cassie as a character still Aiden's was just top tier so it's in his point of view it's only like four pages and it's one year later since the book ended we're gonna read this and hopefully it gives me everything that I want from it and then I'm gonna figure out my immediate rating. Obviously my rating could change but I'm gonna give my immediate rating and it's a good one so far, <laughs> let's just say that. Okay, I think I'm ready. My heart feels so big right now. <gasps> you guys, I can't believe I'm saying this. Five stars. 
five freaking stars. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's no other rating lower than this that I could have given this book. Even before I read it, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna love this book. I'm so excited to read it. Like, this is going to be such a good book. But I wasn't expecting it to be that good, you guys. And I know it seems so silly, but there's just something about this book that made me feel so happy, so loved in a way. I don't know. Like, I fell in love with these characters, the plot, the dynamic of everything put together. And Wanda, she's my girl forever. I love her so much. Like, I aspire to be Wanda when I'm like 70 something years old. Like genuinely, I just loved her as a character along with all the other characters. I just cannot explain to you guys my feelings because I'm feeling so many things and so much love for this book right now. I'm so happy we finished this. Five freaking stars, 100%. That's all I'm gonna say on that note. But giving you guys an update on our Kindle Unlimited book that we were reading last night, <laughs> I didn't make it very far. I made it to page 250. I was just so exhausted last night and then I ended up just cuddling my dog on the couch and literally almost falling asleep. We didn't make it very far, but I'm still really, really enjoying that book as well. Hopefully I will finish it sometime soon before November ends because we're hitting like the second week of November. So this reading vlog has been going on for so long, but with everything that I have coming up and everything that been going on, I have been quite busy trying to make reading a more priority. But when I do film these reading vlogs and stuff, I feel like it makes me so much more excited to read so I can like bring you guys along with the books I'm reading and like you guys get to feel everything that I'm feeling while I'm reading them, if that makes sense. I don't know. It just makes me feel so much more connected to you guys when I share all my thoughts while reading the book instead of just giving you guys a dump of all my thoughts at the end of the month when I'm finished all the book. I love filming reading vlogs. Let me know down below if you guys want more of these. I know I post them pretty frequently, but if you guys want them more often than that, then please let me know because I love filming them. Other than that, I think I know what book I'm gonna pick up next, actually. My best friend Lily actually sent me this book. It's The Girls at 17 Swan Street by an author's name I cannot pronounce. Yara Zigabib. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that's so mean. But I literally cannot pronounce this author's name, but I've been dying to read this ever since I opened it in the mail. So I think this is gonna be our next book that we pick up. I don't know how far along I'm gonna get into this or if I'm going to continue the reading vlog of reading this, but this is gonna be our next read. It is a harsher book dealing with some serious topics. So check trigger warnings and make sure you read the description and know what it's all about before you even think about picking this one up. But also another anticipated read just along with this one. We're just mood reading at this point. I'm reading the books that I'm most excited for right now. That's the updates right now. I'm just so happy right now. I feel just so happy. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Before I outro this video, I just wanted to give you guys a little recap of the books that we read. We started reading like everything to recap before I outro this. So the first book I picked up was The Only One Left by Riley Sager. We just finished this book at the beginning of the video and I actually already sent it to my best friend Lily. That was in a separate vlog. So I don't have the actual physical copy, but this book was so good. I did end up rating it a 4.5 out of five stars. It was included in one of my wrap ups. I was just blown away by this book. Riley Sager does not disappoint me when it comes to plot twists and I still have not caught him. I cannot guess his endings or plot twists. I've tried so hard with two books now and I still have failed. So highly recommend Riley Sager as an author. He has become one of my favorites, surprisingly, because I didn't really like his first book that I read. But overall, a really, 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 really good book. It had me on the edge of my seat the whole entire time. That was the first book. And then the second book we picked up was Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. I also rated this a 4.5 out of 5 five stars. I enjoyed this one so much more than the first one in the series because this is the second one. I'm even more excited to pick up the third now. I hopefully will get around to it soon. I don't want to leave it for so long like I did with the gap between the first and second book. This one just had me on the edge of my seat so much more. I enjoyed the plot so much more. It was a little bit spookier too, surprisingly. I feel like the first one was a little bit more sad. This one was a lot more action-packed and suspenseful and creepy. I was generally scared for Pip at some points, which in the first one I wasn't. So that was was a really big plus for me. Along with that, I just loved the dynamic of Ravi and Pip in this one a little bit more. I feel like we got so much more from them, you know? I really, really enjoyed this and I'm so happy that I got to pick it up before we kind of get into like the winter season. I wanted to read it in between like fall and like that cozy season. Alongside the books I was reading, I was reading On and Off the Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I'm not completely done that to be honest. I did make it to page like 280 and there's around 450 pages in it. So we're a little over halfway and I can confidently say that I am enjoying it. I read it a little bit before bed every single night and it's just like the perfect way to end my night. I don't know. I'm really enjoying the romance in it, kind of the dynamics between the two characters because we do have that like grumpy sunshine romance, but kind of like the guy falls first, surprisingly. 
I'm not gonna give you guys too much. Workplace romance, it's a vibe. It's revolved around like a theme park and creating new rides and renovating the whole amusement park and stuff, which is so exciting. Something I've never read before, so I'm really enjoying that aspect as well. Kinda going in between a four star plus right now. I mean, depends on how it goes, but that's my current rating for that book. We'll see if it changes by the end of the month when I finish it. And then the last book we picked up in this reading vlog was by far my favorite. I read The Nanny by Lana Ferguson and it did not disappoint me let's just say that I'm sure you guys saw my reactions yesterday on how much I absolutely love this five freaking stars right here I highly highly recommend this book the spice was top tier the characters were top tier I fell in love with every single one of them like I also said Wanda has my whole entire heart I wish I could be best friends with Wanda or I aspire to be her literally when I'm like 70 years old so I had a really really fun time reading this it made me laugh so much and so heartwarming my heart feels so full after reading this. If you guys take anything from this video, please at least check out this book. I cannot stress it enough that you will enjoy it. But it is pretty spicy though, so if you don't like spice, maybe you shouldn't read it, but it was good spice, let's just say that. But that is the recap of the books that we read in this reading vlog. I did want to start The Girls at 17 Swan Street. I think I'm going to save this for another reading vlog. I'm going to cut this reading vlog short here. I'm so excited to pick up that book though. It is another anticipated read for me, but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And check the link down in my description for my Patreon to join the Patreon family. We have so much fun over there. They saw so many behind the scenes of this reading vlog. It is absolutely hilarious. I shared all the quotes that I loved from these books with them. They got to see my immediate reactions right away when I finished the books. They just get everything. So make sure you guys check out that link so you don't miss out on things like that. But other than that, I really hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>